Hello students, welcome back to our English class. Today we are going to learn, today we are going to study the fifth poem from your textbook Treasure Trove. The name of the poem is Television, written by Roald Dahl. Now before I start uh, reading the poem and give you explanation line by line, let us gather some information about the poet Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl is one of the most prolific of modern writers in English. He was a British novelist, a short story writer, poet, screenwriter, fighter pilot and has a large fan following among young readers. So I am sure students you must have, be, have read one or the other stories of Roald Dahl by now. The poem television takes a comic look at a serious problem among young children today. The poem warns us about the dangers of excessive television watching. He tells us, the poet tells us that the TV robs the mind of the power of imagination and creativity. Dull, in his characteristic way, exaggerated style, warns that we will become zombies if we keep staring uninterrupted at the television for long hours. He advises us to read books for this will enable us to discover deeper levels of joy, find fulfillment in life and open a whole new and exciting world for us. Now students, I am sure uh, you have heard of television uh, being slammed as, a, as an idiot box. Why it is an idiot box? Because the onlookers passively keep on watching the television. Whatever being presented through the television, whatever being presented through any program broadcasted in television, um, the onlookers passively watches that and accepts that. So, by uh, during the time they keep on watching the television, their brain does not uh, remain active. The brain does not perform any action and that is why it passively keeps on accepting whatever being sent or told to them, presented to them through soap operas or cartoons or whatever. Now, this poem actually was written long back, uh, uh, but particularly uh, Roald Dahl has passed away in the year of 1990 when he was aged 74. So, uh, he is a prolific writer we have come to know and uh, the poem television is actually a famous poem. Right, and uh, <clears throat> what uh, he uh, nowadays, if it has been seen, then we can tell that um, more than television, young minds are much more robbed by the other gadgets like iPad and smartphones, where they keep on uh, getting glued by watching while watching the cartoons or games or playing games, online games, internet games. So, uh, I think nowadays the television uh, has been overtaken in terms of reaping or robbing the imaginative or the creative minds of the uh, youngsters. Uh, something else has overtaken the television. Anyway, let us come to the poem. Now, before I start explaining the poem line by line, let me tell you what this poem is all about. As I have already given you a brief idea, let me start afresh and this is what you are going to learn through this poem. As the mouthpiece of a number of people, the poet begins by saying that the parents should keep their children away from the television, television set. He makes this statement in a very aggressive way. He compares the television set to be a, as bad as an idiot box. Hence, the children should be kept away from the television set or maybe the best part would be instead never install the television sets in the house. If there would be no television sets, the children would not have it, uh, it to waste all their precious time in front of them. See students, uh, majorly the, to the young uh, youngsters, they should go and go for outdoor playings. But what they do instead is they remain sitting 
uh, they remain seated in front of the television can keep on watching the programs one after the other. When we were children, uh, we were uh, the television was uh, there uh, for uh, us to watch uh, twice in a day, but uh, soon after that uh, during uh, the 80s uh, it has started all uh, in all that uh, 24 into 7 the television programs are on and instead of going out for outdoor games and all the children are being fed and the children are being um, kept busy uh, by the parents uh, as they keep on watching the television right.